we're talking about how on my second date with my boyfriend, I shared a lot of information and so did he. And this person says, so sorry, but that's way too much info for a second date. It makes you look desperate. Girl, I am desperate. I am desperate for a relationship where I can be authentic and just be completely myself, which is an oversharer. And I can be vulnerable and open and honest. And I don't mind letting my freak flag fly high on the second date because if you don't like it, then I know he's not for me. Y'all know I hate the rules of dating, okay? And relationships. Somebody came up with a system of timelines and procedures on how to get to know each other based on what worked for them. And listen, it probably does work for a lot of people to have a standard set of procedures. It just don't work for me. It's the same with religion with me. I'm gonna listen to what God wrote on my heart before I listen to what God wrote on someone else's heart that they wrote down to create the Bible. Y'all know I have a degree in biblical studies, right? Okay. I'm gonna trust my intuition over anybody else's for my life. And you should do the same for you. I think we're all born with the truth of what to do in life already inside of each of us. Unfortunately, we just have to dig through all the crap <laughs> that society has put on us over the years of all of their thoughts and opinions. We don't need that. You just need your thoughts and your opinions for your life. You know the saying, do right and fear no man, which basically means as long as you're doing what you think is the right thing to do and it's not harming anybody else and your conscience is clear, then you have nothing to fear.